simulation, glitches in a matrix. Have you ever experienced some of the glitches ever in your life? Then you definitely ask yourself this question. Are we living in a simulation? Is this all being programmed? Is it just me in this whole world? Am I the only one who has consciousness? Hello everyone, this is Ethereal Nex and welcome back to another video. This time, a little different type of video. Buckle up and let's talk about this interesting topic. There are a lot of possible simulations. Computer simulation, hologram simulation, flight simulation, or even driving simulation. You get it? But today, we'll talk about the computer simulation. Simulation itself can be a lot of things, but for this video is idea of our reality. Everything we touch, everything we see can be computer-generated simulation. We humans already created those, like VR, like flight simulator, etc. So, is it then possible that someone before us made the same thing? Is someone watching us right now? Back in 2003, a philosopher, Nick Bostrom, made a proposal argument. Really interesting proposal which said, at least one of three statements is almost true. Number one, all civilizations at our level will extinct before they create realistic simulation, which means that humans will go extinct before we're able to simulate the simulation this big. Number two, if a civilization reaches a post, human stage, they are not interested in running simulations. In other words, humans won't run simulations because it's boring or just wrong. Number three, we are almost certainly living in a simulation. Well, there is this article that I published back in 2003 presenting the simulation argument. This is an argument that tries to show that at least one of three propositions is true, although it doesn't tell us which of these three. The three propositions in question is first, that almost all civilizations at our stage of technological development go extinct before they reach technological maturity. So that's the first possibility. Uh, a second possibility is that there is a very strong convergence among all technologically mature civilizations in that they all lose interest in creating ancestor simulations, as I call them. These would be very detailed computer simulations of people like their historical forebears, detailed enough that the simulated people in these simulations would be conscious. So the second possibility is that they just lose interest in doing this. And the third possibility is that we are almost certainly living in a simulation. So there's this argument that shows that one of these three is true. And the full argument involves some probability theory, but the basic idea can be grasped quite simply, which is that suppose it were the case that the first possibility did not obtain. So then some non-trivial fraction of civilizations at our stage eventually reach technological maturity. Then suppose the second possibility also does not obtain. So some non-negligible fraction of those mature civilizations are still interested in using their resources to running ancestor simulations. You can then show that because each mature civilization that devoted some resources to this purpose could run astronomical numbers of ancestor simulations, you can show that if the first two possibilities do not obtain, then there will be many, many more simulated people like us than there will be non-simulated people like us. In other words, almost all people with our kinds of experiences would be living inside simulations rather than outside them, if the first two possibilities are false. And conditional on that, we should therefore think we are probably one of the typical simulated people rather than one of the exceptional non-simulated people. So the structure of the argument then is that if you reject the first two hypotheses, then the third one follows, which then means you can't coherently redact all three. That, that's the structure of the simulation argument. We've asked you on the beginning if you experience some glitches in reality. Everyone experienced that at least one time in their lives. Could that be the sign? In the past, 
scientists have tried to simulate the universe using supercomputers. They've even recreated the conditions right after the Big Bang for those supercomputers. But what was the result? The results were very similar to our own universe. A coincidence? Even the greatest minds of our generation, Elon Musk, thinks we are in a simulation. The strongest argument for, the, for us being in a simulation, probably being in a simulation, I think is the following. 40 years ago, we had Pong, like two rectangles and a dot. Now, 40 years later, we have photorealistic 3D simulations with millions of people playing simultaneously, and it's getting better every year. And soon we'll have virtu you know, vir virtual reality, we'll have augmented reality. Um, if you assume any rate of improvement at all, um, then the games will become indistinguishable from reality. Of course, there's always that one question, the future questions. What will happen in 100, 200, 1,000, or 10,000 years? Nobody knows. Like Elon said, 40 years ago we had Pong and Tetris, but now we have a lot more. Simulations, 3D games, realistic games, a huge advance compared to the past. But that's just in 40-year gap. Now look at the Apple Vision Pro. These glasses can give us totally different reality. So, are we living in one? It's on you to decide. Write down in the comments, what do you think of this? We can easily discuss it right here like we are on a forum page. Some theory says that if we keep advancing as civilization and assume that everything in our physical world can be simulated, we might even simulate ourselves. Every blood cell in our body, every synapse and brain for every person in this world. In future, humans might be able to even simulate quote-unquote past humans. Just imagine the technology where your grand-grand-grandchildren simulate you in their room, kitchen, or living room. By theories, if we continue to develop technologically like this, we won't even exist. We may become so aware of this simulation that they'll shut us down. But of course, this is all just a theory just like any other. If you liked the video, make sure to support us by liking and subscribing to the channel. We'll be seeing you guys in next videos. Bye-bye.